Hello everyone and welcome to Timin Weekly News. I'm the Dream and here is the first news for you. Chimin earns his sixth career solo entry as Who debuts at number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100. On July 30th, Chimin hit song Who took his highest entry on the chart since Like Crazy number one spot last year and it became the highest charting K-pop single of 2024. In addition to that, Jimin is now the first K act in 2024 to reach number one simultaneously on both Billboard Global 200 and Global Excluding US charts. They are also his first solo career number ones on the charts with the biggest pure sales week of 2024, 129,000 units sold on Billboard Global 200 chart and BTS became, because of that, the first group in history to have multiple members reach number one on the Billboard Global 200 singles chart. Jimin's Who also debuts at number one on the Billboard World Digital Song Sales chart and Jimin becomes the Korean soloist with the most number one hits in digital songs sales chart history, breaking a tie with Jungkook. The music industry was watching excitedly Jimin's Who success on Billboard charts, which we could see by the posts from multiple co-producers of the song, like Pete Nappy and Tenrock, director of a and R at UMG Matt Mashi and later on producer John Bellion who shared about Jimin's Who successful all kill on both Billboard Global Charts on his Instagram as well. K Media were of course not falling behind and both Yonhap News and Yonhap News Agency's Tong Tong Culture program reported about who success on Billboard charts even acknowledging the volume of the song success despite that hype didn't send the single to the radio for promotion. Additionally, we also had many articles highlighting the song and album Colossal Success, but what is interesting is that just a couple of days after that, the agency announced that Who by Jimin will impact US pop radio on August 13, and on July 31st, Who has been finally serviced to top 40 radio ahead of its impact. And as of second week on Billboard charts, Who became the first and only solo song by a K soloist to remain number one simultaneously on both Billboard Global 200 and Global 200 excluding US charts for two consecutive weeks and only song by a K-pop act to spend two weeks at number one on both charts in 2024, who also achieved a new peak at number 12 on the second week on Billboard Hot 100 chart, staying the highest charting song by a Korean K-pop act on Billboard Hot 100 in 2024. With that achievement, Jimin also became first and only K soloist with his song to reach a new peak in its second week of release, first and only K soloist solo song to peak higher than debut position, and first and only K soloist solo song to spend two weeks in the top 15 this decade, as well as first BTS BTS member song to pick higher than debut position since DNA. And all of the song co-producers once again watched and praised the success of the song on their social media accounts, proving how closely and proudly they follow Jimin's chart achievements. The other successful entries on Billboard charts were Jimin re-entering at number 2 on Billboard Artist 100 chart where he previously took number 1 spot in April of 2023, 
Muse debuted at number 2 on Billboard 200 album chart, making Jimin the first Korean K-pop soloist to have multiple number 2 albums in history with 96,074,000 pure units sold. And also, all new 5 Muse tracks debuted on Billboard Global 200, excluding US chart. Then, as of new Spotify achievements, Who by Jimin earns the biggest solo song stream day by Korean K-pop soloist on Spotify in history, amassing 11.8 million in a single streaming day. Then, Who became the longest charting solo song by K-soloist at number one on Spotify Global Daily Top Songs chart, and with only six days of tracking first week, who by Jimin already claimed the biggest weekly streams by K-pop Korean act on the Spotify US weekly chart history, surpassing seven by Jungkook and Lato. Jimin's hit song broke the record for the biggest debut week for a solo song by a K-soloist on Spotify Global with 56 million 838,165 streams and it also remained as the biggest debut week by K-Act in 2024. And then a week later, who became first and only solo song by K-Soloist in history to spend multiple weeks at number one on Spotify Global Weekly Chart also breaking its own record of the biggest weekly solo song stream by a K-soloist on Spotify Global Weekly Top Songs chart by earning 64,762,611 streams on its second week, 7,924,446 more than its debut week. Additionally, Who has surpassed 165 million streams on Spotify and it's the fastest solo song by K-Soloist and the fastest song by K-Act in 2024 to hit 165 million on Spotify history in just 16 days. Muse has surpassed 500 million streams on Spotify and it is still the most streamed album released in 2024 by a Korean or K-pop solo artist on the platform, reaching this milestone in just 11 days upon release. Then Jimin set a new record as the first Korean or K-pop solo artist to earn 3 billion streams across solo songs on Spotify in history. And who? became the longest charting solo song by Asian soloist at number one Spotify global chart surpassing Glimpse of Us by Joji. And then Swedish songwriter and singer Gabriel Brandes, who co-wrote Slow Dance, shared this news on his Instagram story. It's always so nice to see different people Jimin worked with for Muse to show support for him. And also, Who becomes the first and only solo song by a K-soloist to surpass 400,000 daily streams on Spotify Japan in history. As of other chart achievements, Jimin's Who debuted at number one on the United World Global Track chart, becoming the biggest debut by K-Act in 2024 with 375 thousand units surpassing artists like Billie Eilish or Kendrick Lamar. Then the song debuted at number one on the official MENA Middle East and North Africa chart where this is now Jimin's fourth entry on the chart and second number one after Like Crazy became the first gay act in history to top the chart. After that who spent Second week at number one on UK Big Top 40 chart, it debuted at number four at BBC Radio 1 official top 10 singles chart and Jimin also became the first and only Korean K-pop artist to have 15 hit song number one on UK iTunes chart. 
And then we even got an NBC News report about the chart-topping success of Who in UK and worldwide. Additionally, Muse debuted at number 3 on France Snap Top Album Chart, Jimin is now the first and only gay soloist to have multiple top 5 album entries on the chart. And also, Who debuted at number 1 on Tidal Top Video Hits Playlist, Jimin tied as the only K-act to debut a video at the top of the playlist and he extended his own record as the first and only K-act to have multiple videos reach top 3 on this playlist. As the final achievement, I will also add that Who remixes have taken over the entire top 7 best-selling songs on Amazon US under 4 categories for 8 consecutive days. All 7 original Muse songs remain on all 4 charts for 11 days and all Muse versions remain the top 3 international best-selling and new release digital albums on Amazon US for the 7 consecutive days. They also ranked in the top 13 best-selling and new release digital albums across all genres. And now the summary of Jimini mentions by other idols, celebrities, media outlets and much, much more. First, Yonhap News English News YouTube channel Korea Now posted a great vlog of Jimin's Meraldo Garden pop-up that serves very well for those of us who couldn't attend because when you watch it you feel like you are there. I will leave a link to the full video in the description. And then many more fashion magazines like Arena Home Korea, Esquire Korea, Harper Pazaar Korea and El Korea also shared videos from Jimin's Muse Smeraldo Garden pop-up event on their Instagram stories. Armies attending the event also shared on social media a special photocard and message from Jimin you could get at the event that said to my Muse Army. Dear armies that I miss and miss all the time, I have prepared the songs I wanted you to listen to. Not sure if this will suit your taste, but I worked hard to prepare for this, so I'd be really grateful if you would enjoy it. This was my best for this time around, but my standard for the best will keep rising. Please stay tuned, I will keep growing. Love you always, Jimin. Oh my goodness, our Jimin always promising bigger growth and development even though he is absolutely perfect the way he is right now for us always. Some other armies also shared a video of an adorable mini turntable for Tiny Who vinyl record they got at the event as well. And oh my goodness, Jimini prepared so many cute and beautiful details to gift armies and we are so grateful. <laughs> P-Dog also joined the fun by sharing his own clip of the Mini Muse turntable on his social media account. And at the end of the event, the article by Newsen summarizing the experience was also posted, saying even the sweltering heat couldn't prevent Jimin's sincerity showing. The Muse pop-up ended much loved by many people. It caused a frenzy every day, proving the power of born to be an idol, Jimin. And in addition to all of that, we also got an official Muse Smeraldo Garden sketch video posted on Bangtan TV presenting the full atmosphere and feel of the event perfectly, including smiling faces of all attending armies who were so happy and lucky to be there 
in person. Next, consequence of sound praised Jimin's beautiful vocals in an article listing five highlights from Jimin's electric performance of Who on Fallon, where their number one was titled The Mic Is On, and they wrote even with the intense choreography that Who demands and a lack of the sort of breaks he would get when performing with the rest of the band, he sounds strong and confident throughout the performance. Then TMRW magazine shared their thoughts on Muse in their review for the album by saying if you thought Jimin's last album was good, Muse will blow you away. With his modern dance skills and killer vocals, Jimin brings an unmatched energy and presence to Muse. Jimin is not just a singer, he is a singer, songwriter, dancer and basically a superhuman. Links to both articles, if you are interested in reading them in full, will be in the description down below. After that, Who was also featured on American Music Industry trade publications site Hits Daily Double, where they wrote the BTS member new solo track is a streaming rocket number one on global Spotify as of this writing and the video recalls the choreographic verve and pop oomph of classic Michael Jackson clips. And then in an interview for V Magazine, we could read p story about Jimin in Muse production. He said, we began working on this album while we were all in LA for a choir session during the production of Face. However, Jimin went into working on Muse with a significantly different mindset. Also, just being surrounded by the laid-back, chill vibe of LA allowed us to begin producing the feel-good songs. I also believe the experience of collaborating with various producers and songwriters in LA and New York gave Jimin the opportunity to further explore his limitless potential. Ghost Loop also gave an interview for this piece where he further described Jimin's intentions and ideas for this album by saying, in the meetings we held before and during the production, process with Jimin on his second album, he expressed a desire to convey more uplifting themes in comparison to Face. Ultimately, he came up with the key question, where is my true love? This led us to create Who. Jimin was pleased with the way the song turned out and carefully considered how to deliver its message. He needed to convey the emotional changes of the song through the variation in his vocal tone, and to achieve this he worked diligently on strengthening his vocal techniques and delivery. After that, Big Hit Music also dropped Muse Review on Weaver's magazine where they wrote, there's enough variety in the selection of styles that come together to form a consistent deliberate core vision. We are about to have a pop star with a genre all his own on our hands. Indeed, our Jiminy is a music genre of his own. And we call it Jimin Genre. And then there was one more Weaver's interview with p and Ghost Loop where they talked with even more details about Jimin's work ethic, dedication and creativity during the production of his Muse album. Here p said about Jimin, just that I appreciate all his hard work, that's it. For a producer, there's nothing better than an artist who works hard. I'm so thankful to him for that and proud of him too. Now I want nothing more than for him to finish his service in good health. Next, Jimin's Japanese fanbase Pak Jimin Japan organized a cruise event with Let Jimin Displays to promote Muse. 
Jimin's boat named Jimin Muse was sailing down the Dotonbori River in Osaka on July 28th. What a beautiful and creative way to promote Jimin. It looked so epic. <laughs> Then, to celebrate Jimin's Muse release, an army created a beautiful Smeraldo garden surrounding the section where Muse is placed in the Tehama Ridge Fort Worth target location. The path is guided by stickers on the floor and you can pick a flower and a photocard on your way. Another absolutely lovely project. After that, we had the promotional video prepared to celebrate the extraordinary debut week of Jimin's Muse album being shown on the massive TSX screen in Times Square, New York. Muse ads have started to roll out at the entrance of 100 subway stations in Seoul as well. This one was spotted at Samsung subway station and they will be playing until August 16th. Additionally, Aidoki captured a video showing the reward advertisement of Jimin who ranked first in the men's individual rankings in May being broadcasted from Tokyo Cross Shinjuku Vision. The reward advertisement for Jimin, who took first place in Choedo Heart Peak July Comeback Idol vote, was being played from the Hongik University Station CM Board and Hongik University Airport Railroad Digital Signage advertisement was shown in a video to support Jimin's Muse album shared by the Jimin Moonrising fanbase. And then, in addition to all of the above, Hype Performance Director shared a video of Jimin's Who promotional video at Coex K-Pop Square in Seoul. Previously, he also regrammed a Jimin fans video saying, I like the choreography that stops at Always On My Mind. It seems like he took part in creation of this part of the choreography which we are truly appreciative of because we love it so much too. Next up, Jimin ranks 9th in brand reputation rankings for top 100 idols male and female for July 2024. He continues in the top 10 despite being enlisted and remains as the first and only idol to ever rank number 1 for 25 months overall. Then, the time a morning current affairs program on TBS in Japan announced that Jimin's Who music video exceeded 13 million views in just two days of its release. And couple of days later, the same show also reported that Jimin's second solo album Muse ranked first on Oricon's weekly digital album rankings along with another Japanese TV show, Nippon TV's Day Day, which featured Muse's success on the music charts as well. After that, SBS News reported on Jimin's album Muse receiving accolades from international media such as Grammy and Enemy. As we know from last Jimin Weekly News episode, Grammy praised Muse for showing artistic growth, versatility and giving Jimin a new musical identity. Later on, SBS Morning White also showed an interview with French model Vivi asking how she came to love Korea and she replied, I really went to Korea to study, but then BTS appeared, Jimin. BTS Jimin did Blood, Sweat and Tears intro choreo and over. That was it. I fell completely in love and I understand what she feels because Blood, Sweat and Tears Jimin was the one who pulled me in as well.
And then also leading Philippines news channel TV Patrol reported on whose success even while enlisted by saying, despite being in the military, Jimin's title track Who from his album Muse remains on top of the Spotify global chart. The track also dominates different charts globally. Next, Ha Sung Woon mentioned Jimin and with you on Lee Myu Jin service. The same program where Jimin sang acoustic live English version of Like Crazy. He answered a question about how his collab with Jimin came to be and he said, Ah, there is a composer who decided to do an OST with me while the drama Our Blues was being planned. So I asked Jimin, there is this drama, would you like to do OST with me? Then Jimin happily said yes, so thankfully for me we did it together. So it feels like we did it beautifully because while Jimin and I were on a trip in Jeju, Jimin said, Young, it would be nice for us to do a song together. And our blues was filmed in Jeju, so I felt more connected to it and the timing was great. Everything worked out perfectly and I let him listen to the song first. Too. And speaking of listening to Jimin's songs, who was recently played on EBS FM's Korean radio show where they said he's an all-rounder dancer who's particularly excellent in pop and modern dance and when he sings he also expresses characteristic wistful emotions. He has recently released a solo album that's been topping overseas music charts. And also, Changa praised Jimin's Who and played once again Jimin's song during her KBS radio show Volume Up. She commented, This is Who by Jimin. Wow, this song is really good. As soon as I heard it, it was instantly added to my playlist. Staying on the radio mentions topic, critic Kim Yong Dae praised Jimin repeatedly on EBS FM Night Radio with DJ Wusok by saying Jimin since BTS era is the intro fairy when he just sings four syllables Napita Numnul it has a big impact there's a reason why who is the title track it has a strong intro with his voice drawing people to the song and the main melody has general public appeal. Then there's the piercing high note that is one of Jimin's strengths, falsetto. This song showcases all of Jimin's strengths. It's a package of Jimin's fascinating points from an engineer or a producer perspective, it's the kind of voice that they want to work with. And then also, for the first time ever, Jimin Hu was officially most requested song for the At Air Romeo segment of Most Request Live on August 4th and was playing from coast to coast in more than 170 radio stations across the United States and Canada. Hashtag most requested live trended as well at number one in South Korea as fans requested Jimin's Who on the show. Next up, Champagne Therapy Music Group record label and Who producers Pete Nappy, Tenrock, Slow Dance co-writer Blush Smeraldo Garden Marching Band producer Tommy Brown, director of A&R at UMG Matt Mashi, all posted on their stories about Who's success on the charts, followed by thank you post to Jimin from Sofia Carlson on her Twitter X account. And 
Samson, director of Jimmy Fallon, who performance posted the production on Instagram and wrote, Lastly, thank you BTS Jimin, the dancers and the manager for giving us the perfect live performance on site. Then there was also former BTS manager Song Hoboom that shared a post using Jimin's Who as audio. And next, all art crew, the same one that did created the set for Smeraldo Garden marching band video, also did the set design of Jimin's Who performance on the Tonight show, where Jimin danced beautifully with his dancers team, shared some behind the scene photos of the production on Instagram. And speaking of dancers, three hype performance directors joined Jimin Who Dance Challenge, sharing it on their Instagram accounts with a caption, not a good idea to film a challenge outside when it's humid. I hope they were feeling okay after filming. And also later we got dancer, choreographer Aiki, better known for participating in the popular dance competition show Street Woman Fighter, joining the Who Challenge as well by posting a video of her cover on Instagram. And after that, there was also South Korea-based Filipino boy band Horizon member sharing his dance cover of Jimin's Who on the group's official TikTok account. As well as Light Balance Dancing USA that showed off their cool version of Jimin's hit song Choreo on their TikTok too. Then BTS long-lasting friend and celebrity army member Max covered Jimin's song Who on his TikTok account and he did a great job. Just listen. And another artist who recently covered Who in Korean version, was a member of a boy group Ghost 9. And after that, there was also former Mexican Foreign Secretary and Head of Government of Mexico City sharing a TikTok with an edit of Who with the caption, Have you seen what I found? Sometimes we find surprises when opening a door. Did you already know this song? And speaking of government, the official government side of Korean culture and information services shared a post about Jimin's historic success on various platforms, along with the sole guide from travel booking platform mentioning Jimin, who performance on The Tonight Show on their Instagram, adding a comment, Jimin's great singing and stage skills showed off his talent as a solo artist and helped more people in America learn about his new music. And then we also got Melon tweeting Jimin's plaque for who winning Melon Weekly Top Artist Award. Next, Jimin's Manila-based fan group Lachimola Loves shared a video of them having a blast at the Borahe from Manila Festa 2024 as they sing and dance along to Jimin's Who. And then other armies on Twitter X shared how Jimin's awesome song Who was played during the showing of Deadpool and Wolverine at Odeon Lux London Leicester Square Cinema. (laughs) 
So glad Jimin and his music gains more and more attention literally in most unexpected places like also for example Smeraldo Garden marching band was played inside the baseball stadium during the American Major League Baltimore Orioles versus San Diego Padres game. <laughs> Or when Jimin Su was featured playing at the Korea House for the 2024 Paris Olympics on YTN. This place was established to support Korean athletes and promote Korean culture during the global event. So that kind of exposure is always much welcome. <laughs> And next up, we got a new poster and main trailer for the upcoming Jimin and Jungkook travel show, are you sure? With every new footage, their trip gets more and more chaotic and we are all here for it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, to continue a bit more with somewhat OT7 news, on August 1st, Namjoon posted on his story that he was promoted to the rank of corporal in his military division, and then a day later, on August 2nd, he was seen helping out with the setup, rehearsing and performing as a member of the military band of the 15th Division at the 2024 Huachon Tomato Festival in Huachon County, Guangguan Province. He looked so handsome in his red uniform and we are very proud of his new military achievements and endeavors. And then he also again posted two more stories with photos from this event. So now we can say that our mini money marching band adventure is fully completed. And then we also had a bit more info about Jungkook's new documentary movie. According to American Movie Theater Cinemark website, Jungkook's documentary I Am Still will be released in cinemas on September 18th. The release is a celebration of Jungkook as he develops as a solo artist in the run-up to his first solo album, Golden. The film follows the 150-day journey in the lead-up to the album's release, highlighting his trailblazing path. We can't wait to see it! And now, as of the newest news promotion updates, First, on July 27th, we got Jimin Hu MV photo sketch with absolutely gorgeous shots of Jimin on the set of his amazing music video. Just look at him! A perfect work of art! Then the next day we got a cute YouTube shorts teaser from the behind the scenes of Who MV Shoot followed by a full Who MV Shoot sketch video on Bangtan TV where we could see Jimini explaining to us his ideas and intentions for the music video concept, embracing a role not only of the star of the video but also creative director on the set. 
In addition, BTS official also finally shared a clip of Jimin singing the acoustic version of Who on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Next up, on July 31st, we got a surprise Jimin Muse recording behind video along with a short where Jiminy was teaching the crew some Korean phrases. And in the full video, we could see even more footage of Jimmy Fallon first listen of Who, as well as more Jimin in the studio, raw, angelic vocals. And then Jason Tenrock Cornet, co-producer for Who, shared a snippet from Jimmy's Muse recording behind the scenes on his Instagram account, and also p shared a new photo with Jimin and Who producers and co-writers, co-composers, John Bellion, Pete Nappi, Jason Cornett, and Ghost Loop. My reaction to this video will come to the channel in the upcoming weeks. After that, on August 2nd, Jimin surprised us once again and dropped an English version of Be Mine on all streaming platforms along with a visualizer video on Bangtan TV. Armies were of course very excited for the release and like always Jimin took over the worldwide and US Twitter X trends. Oh my goodness, his English is just absolutely perfect. And next, on August 4th, we finally got to the last upload on the Muse official promotion schedule, which was, of course, a bonus live clip video, which turned out to be the most perfect and beautiful live performance of Rebirth and Slow Dance with Sophia Carson. The video, shot on the rooftop of a high-race building in Seoul, showcased Jimin performing with a live band against an open view of the sky, as it moved from day to night, enhancing the refreshing and romantic feel of the two songs. And the presence of Sophia with Jimin singing together the magical harmonies was a true cherry on top. BTS official shared the YouTube link for Jimin's Robert plus Slow Dance a live clip on Instagram where Sophia also regrammed it. They also shared this incredible live clip across three different YouTube shorts. Later on, the posts from the crew started to appear on Instagram, like the one from bassist Lee Yeonjun writing Angel Jimin had a fun day filming with colleagues and all the other live band members from the performance clip also shared it on their accounts including producer Evan. And speaking of this live crew, a little fun fact is that they were the same ones who performed live as the Yoongi crew on his D-Day tour. Sophia Carson also uploaded another post about the performance on her official Twitter X account and wrote Surprise Slow Dance Live Performance Video Performed Live from Seoul, South Korea I loved every second of singing our song together, Jimin. Thank you. And the most special thanks to Jimin's muse, ARMY. She is truly so sweet. We thank you for joining Jimin for that magical evening as well, Sophia. It was a pleasure to watch you sing your beautiful song with our Jimini. Then we also got two Jimin's rehearsal videos of Rebirth and Slow Dance across BTS official Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't think I cared. Armies on Twitter were of course also absolutely in love with this performance, posting all the praises about this pure perfection we got to witness on August 4th, and naturally all the excitement could be seen echoing in Jimin and Sophia dominating worldwide trends. 
like always, articles about the performance also started to be posted by such publications as Rolling Stones and NME. And K Media didn't stay behind and also posted praising articles where they wrote Jimin released live clips of the songs Rebirth and Slow Dance from his second solo album Muse through BTS official YouTube channel at 1 pm on the 4th. This video was filmed on the rooftop of a high-rise building in downtown Seoul in order to bring out the refreshing and romantic feeling of the two songs Jimin performed with a live band outdoors where he could enjoy the open view and sky at a glance. And then NBC News also reported about the live clip in their evening broadcast. Finally, a day later on 5th of August, Bangtan TV also dropped first a short of the behind the scenes of the bonus live clip performance and then a full video. More about which I will be able to tell you in the next episode because I didn't watch it yet myself, but I will as soon as I will come back from my vacation trip. So that is all for this week's news and at the end, like always, please enjoy Jiminy Achievements. See you next time.